everybody, what's going on and welcome to GNR Central. And today I want to talk about the Guns N' Roses biopic that was rumored to be happening around late 2014. So this of course was before the reunion had happened and before Slash and Axel had patched up their differences. But it appeared that Mark Cantor, who had wrote the book Reckless Road, had finally inked a deal with Hollywood to make his book into a movie. So according to an interview that Mark Cantor had done with Billboard.com at the time, he said that the movie would be done right with no shortcuts, and he said it would be very well detailed. Now, Cantor posted on Guns N' Roses forum as spin reports, clarifying that the film will not be a documentary, as some people had suspected at the time, and it had been in works for about four months, he said. He said, I do have a big say, so... He said, I do have a big say on the script, which is still being put together for now, but so far looking cool, he posted. I'm going to see that everyone in the cast is doing their job and doing justice to the band. Since I was there, I know what the dialogue was between the band for many of the events that took place. When you find out who is making the movie, you will understand it because it will be very cool. I'm proud of all the hard work that was put into the project and it's going to kick ass. In no way will it be cheesy like the movie Rockstar. There's a really great story here that even the outtakes will be great. Cantor also added that the truth is the movie could be made just from the Hell Tour alone, which was only about a week or so long. Now, of course, while Axl Rose won't be involved with the film, according to Cantor, he and the rest of the band will get to review the finished script and help fix, fix things that are off a bit, and the goal is to get it right. He's, he went on to say, as you know, Axl doesn't support anything to do with the old band except playing their songs live, Cantor posted. However, I do think he will be happy with the fact that we'll clear up some of the stories that have been said about him from those days that were told incompletely. And at that time, no one had been cast for the project, but Cantor did say he would expect they'll be enlist some A-listers. He said, in the end, it'll just be a cool story about five guys that got together in Los Angeles and put together great music and made it work, and the reckless road that they traveled on the way, he wrote. Now, fast forward almost five months later, it's May of 2015. This is around the time that things are starting to work out between Axel and Slash, they're talking again. And unbeknownst to Mark Cantor, um, that this stuff's going on in the background. There's reports that Guns N' Roses movie is in the works with Howie Huberman and James Franco being involved. So Howie Huberman, who financed Guns N' Roses in their early days, he confirmed that he is working on a film about the band with actor James Franco and Reckless Road author Mark Cantor. So the article said, to get the publishing rights for the songs for the movie is not easy, but we're doing it, Huberman tells Metal Sludge. There's a lot of books about Guns N' Roses out there, but Mark Cantor's book, Reckless Road, is the best one because he was there with the band from 1984 to 1988, and the whole band loved him. So we optioned the book, and it's in pre-production with James Franco. So in 2008 is when Cantor's book came out. If you guys haven't read it, it's one of the best Guns N' Roses books out there. He basically recounts the first 50 gigs that the band did and talks about their formative years. Now, Mark said, uh, the article said, when Guns N' Roses formed, Mark became the sixth guy in the band, original bassist Duff McKagan said of Cantor. He was always around and had unlimited access to the band, especially in the early days. He believed in us from the beginning and had a much broader view of what the band was about than we did from the early stages, and he documented the whole thing tirelessly. So Huberman says he knows many movie ideas in Hollywood don't make it all the way, but state that this project is certainly happening. Huberman went on to say that James Franco said he is doing it, and he has never said he would do, he was never going to do a movie that didn't eventually pan out. He said anything James Franco says he's going to do, he is going to do. He's an absolute genius, a key player in Hollywood, and he's already an A-lister, and the movie is going to make him even more of an A-lister. So Huberman and Cantor had begun writing the screenplay in Hollywood, but no further details were revealed at that time. So back in the 1980s, Huberman owned one of Hollywood's biggest music equipment stores, Guitars R Us, and also managed Poison during the glam band's original rise to stardom. He helped Poison get a recording contract with Capitol Records and Guns N' Roses with Geffen before moving on to other projects, including working with Tuff and The Zeros. Now, we interviewed Mark Cantor about a year ago in Los Angeles, and we brought up the whole movie and James Franco thing, and it seemed like at that time things fell apart and nothing really happened after 2015 with the movie, and there doesn't really appear to be any update on the movie in terms of whether it's going to come out. I doubt it's going to come out, but it is nice to see that Slash and Axel are working together again, and who knows, hopefully if Axel and Mark Cantor can patch up their differences, if you guys aren't aware, Mark Cantor and Axel still have their differences, they're not really getting along, unfortunately. Uh, maybe if that gets patched up, then maybe we can see a movie released on the early days. 
So that does it for this episode of Guns N' Roses True Story. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And how do you think a Guns N' Roses biopic would go? And who would you guys want to see cast as the members of Guns N' Roses? Let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed that video. And please share it. And also go check us out on GNRcentral.com for the latest and greatest Guns N' Roses news. Take care. Hey, this is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses. And you're watching GNR Central. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs>